Hi, my name is Andrew Wilcoxon. I'm an engineering manager at IGS. The other day, my son asked me to print an alligator for kids at school. It went poorly. This is the Creality Ender 3 V2. It has helped me to realize my mom was wrong and that I'm not special. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! The reason for the stringing on the alligator is because of the increased speed and other parameters. I want to be able to print faster. So we're going to upgrade to a new all-metal sprite extruder and add a sear touch. This is me trying to feel something again after the sorrow I endured with this endeavor. This is how screws work. This is the main board for the Ender V2. This is me learning how to read. These are the new connectors for the sprite extruder that need to be connected to the main board. This is the layout of the main board and the connectors that need to be swapped out. This is the result of tackling literacy and hot glue. Insert caption. This is me trying out for a hand modeling gig. This is the business end of the old extruder. This is the removal of the old stepper motor for the extruder. Leave only footprints. When installing the new extruder carriage, I decided to self-administer an optical exam. Yep, I need bifocals. This is the new extruder perched precariously, attaching the CR touch wiring. The new extruder secured, the printer back in its home. I updated the firmware on the screen and the printer. It literally could not find center after the updates and the new installation. After hours of searching, I finally found this on GitHub. A guy actually has custom firmware for the, uh, these two modifications, and it's a much cleaner UI experience as well. It's genuinely amazing, and I'm going to hit that donate button. This is the before, this is the end result, and I was able to print this in about half the time of the original prints.